King Manipur is celebrating the 126th birth anniversary of the freedom fighter Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose in a grand manner. Events for the day also marked as Parakram Divas will be observed at the INA Memorial in Moirang. Well, the General Secretary of the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sang, Dattatreya Hosabale, who is in Manipur, will visit the historic Indian National Army Memorial in Moirang to pay tribute to Netaji. And Hosa Bale will garland the statue of Netaji Subhash Bose at the memorial to offer tribute on the occasion of Parakram Devas. Well, earlier yesterday, the RSS General Secretary on the eve of Parakram Devas termed Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose as another Chiranjeevi of Bharat. Now, addressing a public meeting in Imphal, Hosa Bale said that observing Netaji's birth anniversary as Parakram Devas is a befitting tribute to the courage of the great leader, which is a source of tremendous inspiration. So Netaji's those words, ideas, ideals and dreams will never perish. <laughs> ideas and ideals and dreams will never perish. When those ideas, ideals and dreams are of high qualities when those ideas, ideals and dreams are for the noble cause, when those ideas, ideals and dreams are free from any selfish aggrandizement, those ideas, ideals and dreams, they will be perpetualized in every heart and soul. मुझे लगता है नेताजी जैसे एक अद्भुत महापुरुष इस युग में भारत में जन्मे भारत को जोड़ा दुनिया में घूमे दुनिया के लोगों को जोड़ा सास और भक्ति कर्मण्यता और विचार स्नेह प्रेम और कर्तृत्व एक दूसरे के साथ जोड़ने का एक अद्भुत कार्य नेताजी ने किया नेताजी नेता नेतृत्व नेताजी लोगों को छोड़ा उन्होंने आर्मी में महिलाओं को लेना सामान्य बात नहीं थी जिस कालखंड में हिंदुस्तान के बहुत सारे राज्यों में महिलाएं पर्दा में रहती थी उस समय उनको यूनिफॉर्म पहनाकर जानी लक्ष्मी माई रेजिमेंट शुरू करना ये नेतृत्व का एक बहुत बड़े मिसाल है नेताजी ने इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी में हिंदुस्तान के हर कोने कोने के लोग एवरी पार्ट ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेड इन इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी People were there from Tamil Nadu and Kerala. People were there from Hyderabad. People were there from Rajasthan. People were there from North East. People were there from Moy this money and money poor. It needs to be mentioned here that independent India's flag was first hoisted at Moirang by the INA on April the 14th, 1944.